a violinist with the LA Philharmonic. I get to play on stage for audiences at Walt Disney Concert Hall and the Hollywood Bowl. But it's been coming down here to Skid Row that's actually reminded me not only who I could be as a musician and an artist, but who I can be as a citizen as well. A couple of years ago, I met a man named Nathaniel Ayers, who was the subject of a book and a movie called The Soloist. And we started Street Symphony because I wanted to meet one more person in this neighborhood who had Nathaniel's story. And in the course of over 300 free concerts in Skid Row clinics and shelters and in LA County jails, we've met thousands of Nathaniels. Everyone has a story that matters. Everyone has a life that matters. And what we're down here to tell the Skid Row community is that their story matters and that their lives matter. And that what they care about, that light that they carry inside themselves, along with all the shadow and all the darkness and trauma that happens here, that's been happening for generations in their lives, isn't enough to knock away their humanity. Their story still is worthy of being heard by all of us. One thing that we've learned is that every person deserves access to a creative and expressive life. And when we as artists and citizens give the space to our community to actually tell their story, we are astounded by the generosity and compassion that they turn back and give to us. There are stories of brokenness here, for sure. But there are stories of such resilience and courage and bravery. And when we get to make music with that bravery and with that courage, when we're able to tell those stories through music, we're blown away by the level of artistry that exists here in this neighborhood. So the vision is multifold. Of course, there's an artistic vision for us to do more programming. We are very excited to get involved with the AB 109 and EPIC programs here at the Weingart Center. My dream would be to be able to employ in our organization people who have experienced homelessness and incarceration themselves. But further than that, what we're hoping to create in the community of Los Angeles and nationally is a consciousness shift when it comes to how we talk about people who have experienced systemic racism, systemic inequality, incarceration, and homelessness. It's our job as artists and citizens to shift the narrative. Again, everyone has a story, and our job is to tell those stories that every person is worthy of a creative and expressive life, and everyone is worthy of inherent dignity and respect.